All right. Hey, everybody. I'm just going to walk you through some new features of Google Meet you might not have seen. I know a lot of you are still teaching in this teaching in scenario where you have students at home and then some students face to face. So just real quick, let's we can walk through those things um, that might be new and make sure you know you've got you're familiar with it. You might know all this already. And that's awesome, too. Um, first, I think the newest thing to show up to Google Meet has been this lower hand feature. Um, if you click on that, it will raise a hand up here, just like in you would see in um, OneNote or anything like that. All right. Hey, everybody. I'm Bonnie Chalette. I'm here just to walk through some new things you might have seen to Google Meet. I know a lot of you are teaching in a scenario where you have students at home and you're teaching students face to face in your classroom. Just such a big uh, undertaking. So I just want to walk through some of the new things that may have showed up. I am in this meet three times as three different versions of myself. Um, so it might look a little different to you. Uh, but I did just want to show you what that looks like. So right here, you can see raise hand and lower hand. So I can see that right here. Um, if I'm on the grid mode, I can see who raised their hand. And I can also see it if I have my my panel over here visible. And you'll be able to see who, can, who has raised their hand. And you'll also be able to lower that for them in case they forget. You cannot stop anybody from raising their hand. Um, but you do have that opportunity, the, the, um, the chance to lower it for them. Another thing a lot of people have noticed that has been a change is removing people and adding people. If you have a student, maybe you accidentally had to remove them from their class or there was some kind of issue where they had to be removed from your Google Meet by clicking these three dots. And now they're saying they, they can't get back in. You can add them by clicking on the add people button and you would type um, their username and be able to invite them back in. Um, remember that you do have those host controls now um, that kind of advance and step up what you can do as the, the creator of the meet. Um, you can allow everyone to share their screen. I generally keep that off. Um, and you can also decide if if students can chat or not. Um, those settings are just really important for keeping your classroom, you know, how you like it. Um, also, if you're having issues with students, like phones calling in or just any kind of issues with intruders, um, you go right here under settings. It's also in that shield down here at the bottom, something called quick access. I can turn that on and off, but when quick access is turned off, only people invited can join. So I've had a lot of teachers that have like these random strangers coming into their meet. They're like, how do you fix it? Start here. Now that does mean you have to admit everybody into your meet. Um, but I, I don't think anybody here will be admitting like large groups of people into a meet. Um, and also right here, that's where you can choose um, where to share your screen or send those chat, allow students to send chat messages. Um, but Google has pushed out some really cool tools um, for virtual classrooms. So first are these breakout rooms. So you can put students individually into different groups um, or you can group them and split them up into their own meet and then it will bring them back. So you can see I have the three versions of me in this call. Um, I can open those rooms. I can set a timer. I can shuffle and I can do all that straight from here. Managing that might be a little tricky. Um, what I do when I have people in breakout rooms is I have an I have an extension called mute tab. And so I'll mute um, different tabs and select the ones that, that I wanted to listen to at that point. I know a lot of you two are very familiar with working on multiple devices. So there's just different ways to do that. Um, but if you want to be in all the different classrooms and things like that, um, and you, and you by all means, reach out to me and we can talk one on one about this. But um, there are some little tweaks you can do to really help you manage that breakout room environment. But yeah, so now they've added a timer, a shuffle, clear, 
kind of similar to some of the things that Zoom is doing. Um, you can poll the audience. It will show up in that chat description at the end um, after you end a meeting. Um, and so that poll will show up. You'll type it, and you can even you can schedule it. You, know, you don't have to hit it immediately. So. Um, You might not want to call everybody out like this, but you know, um, you can hit launch or delete it. Um, like I said, it can hit save. So I can maybe prep for this. Um, and so now my students would all have access to this poll. Um, and the Q&A forum where students now if you this would maybe just be different from the chat or you might you might want to have like the chat specifically for technical issues and the Q&A for students to be able to um, answer questions. So around or here, you would be able to keep that Q&A. And I'm so sorry, it's blinking yellow. Um, it's because my camera is working triple time. Um, but those are just some of the simple features that have rolled out. Um, I, like I said, I really keep playing with those security issues. We still, it's gotten a lot better. We still have the occasional like phone call in or somebody who's not supposed to be there. Um, you have all those cool features to the side, and there's lots of other things um, that Google is pushing out that I think um, a lot of us are going to really, really like in the future. So please reach out to me if you have any questions. Um, let me know the cool things you're doing with Google Meet. Um, and just as a side note, remember you do have that Jamboard, um, and maybe we can talk about Jamboard in the future. It's really simple, but Jamboard has, is, is developing very rapidly, and you have a lot of new options to to um, collaborate with students. So definitely keep your eye on these settings. Um, I don't think anything's coming out in January, but you might, it would sometimes things just show up. I know a lot of us have noticed the change background and the blur background feature. And some people love it, some people don't. Kids are, you know, changing their backgrounds all over the place, but they can't upload their own. Um, and you also have that option to change the different layout, you know, decide how you want to see your classroom, see your students. So just check anything things out, reach out to me if you have any questions, um, and I really hope to hear from you soon. Bye.